welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny, and today I have my father with me. Hi, everyone. Guys, we got we've had a, a, three or four requests for us to do Skyline Chili, and that is what we're doing today. We're reviewing Skyline Chili. Now, it's been years since Dad has had it, and I did a couple reviews, at least one review, I think. Please go back and watch that one. I did one on my own. So anyway, we're going to set the stage here, okay? Um, we're, we've we had Skyline Chili in the past. Like that, like I said, Dad has ha hasn't had it in years. And I've had it, oh, it was quite a few months ago. And I've had it other times, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a chili. Uh, it has a taste of its own, right? The taste of this Coney right. chili, whatever you want to call it, has a taste of its own. And I didn't grow up on this kind of chili coney sauce, okay? This, this, like I said, it tastes different than what we're used to. But we're going to tell you our honest opinion of this stuff, guys. Um, like I said, I was never big on it. I don't, when, when Dad talked about it, he was never been big on it. But we're going to, Dad's got uh, two cheese conies. I got a coney bowl, okay? I'll explain that here in a minute, what that is. So anyway, we're going to taste test this. We're going to tell you what we like or don't like about it. And we're going to rate it 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, or somewhere in between, guys. So please take time and subscribe if you haven't done so. And please take a few extra seconds and click that thumbs up, the like button down below. Please do that. That does help us out. And thank you guys if you do that. Thank you for your support. And thank you for your respectful comments. Okay, guys. Skyline Chili. I did want to say they originated out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Did you know that, Dad? Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll get Dad started, and I want to talk just a little bit more. Guys, these Coney dogs are the smallest hot dogs I have ever seen. These buns are smaller than the buns you get at the store, the grocery store. These hot dogs are shorter than the regular size hot dogs at the grocery store. So I gotta get one of these out. It's a steamed bun. They got mustard. They're supposed to have onions on it. Let me kind of peek in here if I can see. Ah, uh, I think so. And cheese and coney sauce. I'm gonna hand one of these to Dad. These things are small, Daddy. Feel how small this thing is. Each one of these coney dogs, guys. I find my paper, my receipt. They are charging three dollars. And 19 cents a coney. So two of these conies come to $6.38, guys. You saw how big it was. My hand isn't a very big hand. And this looks small in my hand, guys. This looks small in my hand. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Okay. Before I tell you what I got, I wanted to say really quick. I looked this up. There are over a hundred... Uh, uh, over let's start this over there are over 160 locations of skyline chili they're in ohio kentucky indiana and florida they made it all the way down south to florida that, that kind of that's kind of amazing to me so you got ohio kentucky and indiana and all the way down to florida i don't know man a lot of ohioans must have requested a skyline chili in florida i guess so, like I said, guys, I got a, a Coney bowl. And they're saying that this is three uh, hot dogs in this bowl with the original secret recipe chili topped with shredded cheddar cheese. And I asked for onions. I don't know if they put it in here. I have a feeling this might be a mess, guys. I'm, I, I wanted to hold it up for a picture, but I couldn't. I got some silverware here. I got some hot sauce in case I need it. I'm going to show you these, these hot dogs, guys. <laughs> this is a whole hot dog. See how small this hot dog is? Uh, I'm just going to take it by... Oh, I don't even know how to go about eating this. Let's see if I can cut it with a spoon here. Without flipping it out of my hand. It's in a bowl, guys. And the chili and cheese and... I asked for onions. I see some onions in here. I'm going to take a bite of this, and I'm going to give Dad his other... You want your other pony, Daddy? No, mm -hmm. Okay. Let me take a couple bites of this. Okay. 
I don't think their hot dogs are like a beef hot dog. I think they're like a chicken mm -hmm. pork type hot dog. I'm not really sure though because of this salt. This coney sauce has a taste of its own and it kind of hides the hot dog taste. I expect. On this Coney Bowl, I spent $8.89. Now, that's three hot dogs in here and cheese and a chili. I could see somebody getting this and taking it home and take it in their own buns and just putting this in. And it would be cheaper this way, I think. Because you'd be getting three hot dogs. I don't know. I don't know, guys. You want your other Coney Day? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Tastes pretty good. I remember the taste. Yeah. Like I said, the sauce, their Coney, original Coney chili sauce, whatever you want to call this, guys, it has its own flavor. I also got some extra mustard. I'm going to try something. <clears throat> Be careful. No sense of hurrying. Oh, this is hot sauce. Shoot. I, thought, I didn't even look at the packet. I was wanting mustard. I put a little hot sauce there. <laughs> I can't. I got this thing if I am. I may knock all the mustard off trying to get... There we go. Okay. Okay, I think I discovered something. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, so you're probably wondering, Penny, why did you get your conies in a bowl? Why did you get the conies? Okay, if you've been watching our channel for a while, uh, I bread fills me up quickly, and I just I thought, wow, they got it in a bowl. Let's try it in a bowl. I might like it better that way without all the bread and stuff. And I kind of do like it better in this bowl. And I like it better with mustard and hot sauce. Okay? <laughs> I got cheese hanging. Hmm. Now I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to think of what I want to tell you about this and how I'm going to score this. Okay, guys? Here. I gotta get a drink really quick. I know dad needs a drink. You got a napkin right, right, right there. Guys, I just got some uh, sugar free mm -hmm. strawberry sparkling water from Aldi. Well, these are pretty good. They actually got a little, you know, artificial sweetener in it, so it does have a little sweetness to it. I've been trying to lay off of the soda. I've been switching to the like the sparkling waters and the water with the flavoring in it. And plain water. I don't drink a lot of plain water. It's just it's boring to me. I always want something with flavor. I mean, I like last night I hung out with one of my friends and I had a big glass of ice water. And it tasted good, you know what I mean? But um, from time to time, I like ice water just like that with nothing in it. But for, for the most part, I want flavor in my water. I don't know, man. Tell me, are you like that? Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, guys. Excuse me. I almost burped really loud. Oh, yeah. So, Daddy. Those cheese conies. Let's talk about that sauce, okay? Let's talk about that coney sauce, that chili sauce. What flavors are you tasting in that sauce? I, I can't. I can't define it. Okay. Um, it's uh, it, 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 chili. Yeah, it's got like ground beef in it. Okay, and you saw the sauce. It's it's a darker colored sauce. It's got like cinnamon or something in it. It's it's. When I say chili, I think of my homemade chili with like a lot of stewed tomatoes in it, you know, tomato paste, you know, tomato juice in general, and I put beans, and I put, you know, ground beef and stuff like that, um, and a little shake of sugar, okay? Um, this isn't chili to me, okay? A lot of people say, oh, I love Cincinnati chili, Skyline chili, you know, there's a Cincinnati chili too. It's just got a taste of its own. It's a... It's one of those things, the first time I tasted it, and I think Dan will agree on this. The first time I tasted it, I'm like, oh no. This is not like a coney that I'm used to. I don't like this, okay? Yeah. That's how I felt the first time I tasted this like years ago. Is that how you felt too, Dan? That's the way I felt back then. Okay, yeah, I agree. That's how I felt too. The first time I had it, I'm like, man, this is not like any kind of coney sauce I've ever had or grew up on. It tastes weird. It's got some funky seasoning in it. What is it? C you know, cinnamon, chocolatey. I don't know. It's got some funky seasoning in it that I'm not used to. But, you know, the last few years I've, you know, tried it on my own. And then I've done a review or two. I can't remember how many reviews I've done. A couple. Maybe one. And, um... As I tried it, I have grown to appreciate it, but I don't love it. How do you feel about it, Dad? I, I get the word uh, it uh, comes back to me, the yeah. taste uh, comes yeah. back to me. But uh, so you, it's you, not used to, it's not a, 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 now, a now tasting stuff. So. so, let's see if I can get this right. So... Do you like it a little better now than you did before? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's kind of how I am. But I, um, I'm not uh, going to tell you I love it, but I can appreciate it. I don't think it's as funky tasting as I did back then. You know, talk, you were like the clock 10, 15 years ago, I think, the first time I tried it. Maybe longer. It, I think it was longer. I think it was closer to 20 years ago. But anyway, the first time I tried it, I thought it was so funky taste, and I was like, no, this is not for me. I don't like it. Now I can appreciate it. I mean, if Dad said, hey, let's go get this every once in a while, I would get it. I can eat it. I, I can eat it. it. I can I, eat it, too. It's just not something I don't see... Dad can say his part I on this. I, I can't see saying, oh, let's go get Skyline Chili. No. I, I, I just can't see me just coming up with that. Because I can think of so many other things I'd rather have. I, I, it's just because I wasn't raised on it. I know people that was raised on this, and they'll fight you tooth and bone and to the nail to the ends of the time that they'll say that this is the best thing in the world. And I, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to say, no, you're wrong. I think it's because you were raised, those people were raised on this and they're just used to the taste of this. Okay, Dad, did you think those hot dogs were little? I thought they looked really, they really looked, small. They, they were little, yeah. but they were, are little. Yeah. They are little okay. Uh, dogs. Okay. Um, uh, you had two of them. You have a pretty good appetite. You had two of them. Do you feel pretty full right now? I feel pretty full oh, right now. So you feel pretty comfortable. I could eat. I could eat three. But, you uh, you I, could eat three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So but yeah, I, can I can't eat three of the regular dogs. Oh yeah, like a regular hot dog from somewhere else because they're a little bit bigger. I understand. So you could eat three of these. Um. So you like the mustard and onions on it? You feel like that's a good. I added? can. I can. They didn't. didn't didn't give him much, much mustard on it. He likes a lot of mustard. I yeah. like a lot of mustard <laughs> on it. So and next, so next time we have it, if I can remember, I'll just ask for extra packets of mustard. I have a little bit, but I'll ask for extra packets of mustard and I'll put more mustard on it. You feel like you like cheese, a little bit better? 
The cheese was on it was fine. The cheddar cheese, yeah. The the uh, hot dog was is a different a different kind of animal. Yeah. Um. Do you agree with me? Do you? I don't think it's a beef hot dog. I don't know for sure, guys. If you are a Skyline Chili fan, Stan, whatever. If you know if that hot dog is a beef hot dog or if, is it a chicken pork hot dog, let us know. It doesn't have much of a snap on the skin. It's, the it's, seasoning it, is pretty good. Yeah, I, the, the hot dog doesn't taste like a beef hot dog to no, me. No, it, it don't. Like, it oh, don't. I don't know, guys. Let us know if you know, okay? Let us know in the comments. Okay, Dad, do you have a score for those Coney dogs? I do. What score are you going to give them I'd like to give it a seven that, that, that right now. A seven out of ten? Yeah. Okay. So so that score is kind of telling me it's kind of heat neither here nor there for you. You don't you don't dislike it, but you don't love it. You're right. And right. Um, here's my question, I guess. You gave it a seven. You know, it's that's like on our scale. That's like, yeah, we'll eat it, but we really wouldn't recommend it. Um, would you recommend somebody trying Skyline Chili? I would recommend you to try the Skyline Chili. I would. If too. if you uh, like the flavor that it gives off, you would like it. Yeah. Um, if you've never tried Skyline Chili, I recommend it. Um, <laughs> And also, say if you've had it years ago and you're kind of like me, it's not really for me, it's okay, but it's not really my thing. I'm saying after I've had it a few times, I can I can appreciate it now. I'm going to eat that. I'm going to get full. I don't feel like I wasted my money, but it's just, it's it's not the place I would go for my chili or I my, would, or my I Cody would, hot dogs. Uh, go back and get, get this. But I'm not, but, uh, well, we're not talking bad about it. I think no. it's mostly because we're not used to this flavor of ch Coney sauce, right? I think you're just not used to this flavor of Coney sauce. But it tastes, it, uh, it started giving the better vibes uh, at the end. Yeah. Um, next time, Dad, if we do try this or review this again, um, I'm going to get more mustard. And I want you to try it with a little bit of this their hot sauce. It, their hot sauce is a uh, right. it's like a Louisiana type hot I sauce. Know. It's got like a little vinegary flavor to it. I think Dad might really like it a little bit better because I noticed when I ate it, you know, just plain with the cheese and the chili and my onions and the hot dog, it 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 brought back that yeah, this is okay, but it's not great. Okay, but when I tried it with the accidental with a little bit of hot sauce and some more mustard, <laughs> some more mustard on it. I kind of liked it better, it, guys. It, it, it kind of changed my. It, it, it kind of changed my. Well, it did give a uh, better taste. Yeah. Well, I tried it. I I'm talking it about it with the red mustard. Yeah. I'm talking with the mustard. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but I, it could give it more mustard. Yeah. So next time, I think maybe I'm going to try some of this hot sauce with Dad and some more mustard on his hot dogs and see if he if it, it bumps him up because it did me if i was scoring it like i had it without the hot sauce and without the extra mustard i'm like dad i'd give it a seven out of ten guys you're gonna think this is a little weird okay but when i added the hot sauce and i added a little more mustard to my bite there it bumped it up for me an eight out of ten Okay, so that being said, if we did come back here, I would get this again, but I would make sure I got my hot sauce and I would make sure I got my mustard. Okay, because that made it more enjoyable for me. This little tang of hot sauce, it's not super hot, like Louisiana hot sauce, got a little vinegar and a little more mustard, a little more vinegar. When I, what I think it's doing is the hot sauce and mustard is taming down that that weird um, seasoning that they got in the chili. Sure. Whether it is like if it's cinnamon or what, chocolate, I don't know, maybe both of them. I, I don't can't, know. I whatever. Can't define that yeah, chili, uh, seasoning. Whatever that, that seasoning is that I think is weird in the sauce, you know, I don't think it's gross. I just think it's weird. I'm not used to it, right? But whatever that seasoning is, and when I put a little bit of hot sauce on it, a little more mustard, it kind of, I can still taste that seasoning, but it kind of tames it down to where it's. I like it better. Like it hits me a little bit better. 
So I'm going to say with the hot sauce and mustard, it's an, it's an 8 out of 10. I'm really shocked, guys. I am going to enjoy the rest of that now that I found out that I like the hot sauce by accident and some more mustard. Yeah, so so I, I want to uh, uh, say again, the onions wow, was a good an investment. Yeah, you like the that extra that, onions uh, on it, yeah. Yeah, on the um, Tony Bowl, yeah. they don't automatic that one, that what I got, they don't automatically add the onions. I asked for onions. I would definitely ask for a lot of onions right. again because I, I'm like to add the extra raw onion that helps with the taste too. And we just like onions in general. We're big onion people, guys. We'll sit at home and make a sliced tomato sandwich with onions oh, yeah. and a piece of cheese and that's a miracle whip on a bread or a croissant or whatever and we'll just eat that we we like that sometimes sometimes that's our that's our supper because right. we ate such a big heavy dinner sometimes that's what we have for supper so uh, dad will sit around with uh tomatoes and onions and just eat them like that with salt, salt pepper. and pepper <laughs> salt and pepper and, uh... i gotta put them on something i gotta put them on like a piece of toast or something but Excuse me. So, Dad, I think we got it. I think we did everything. We told everything that we could tell about the skyline chili. Uh, I eat it. Uh, I eat it all, and it it was uh, it was good. It was good on my stomach. Yeah. Uh, I I can't I can't say a, a lot about it. The negative part. Yeah, it's not it's not like a bad. It's not like a bad experience. That's why we say if you've never tried it, please go out and try it. I um, remember. It's just not. It's not like something we were raised on. It's not something we have like a, a uh, love for or whatever. I, I remember like my first wife and I got going to Skyline Chili. No, not. And not, we hold get. Hold up, hold up. I'm not no, trying. No, no, yeah, yeah. Second wife. Yeah. Your second wife you got going to Skyline Chili? Yeah, and. Uh, you kind of lot started liking yeah. it a little bit, yeah. So. And uh, it it was good. It's it kind of good. Yeah. It was good. We got a we got a, 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 a doctor to it. Oh yeah, a doctor. Yeah, you uh, you it, it kind of grows on you. Okay, yeah. it kind of grows on you. If you're not totally appalled when you first try it, if you're not totally turned off, and you try it again. I, I'm going to tell you, it kind of grows on you guys. It, it does. I don't know how to explain it. It's one of those things that that like, you can't explain. It kind of grows on you. Now that I've had it, I mean, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, now that I found out I like the hot sauce and the mustard on it, now that I've had it, I kind of want to try something else from here. Maybe we'll do another review in yeah. a couple of weeks and try it out and see if we'll I change try. my mind. We'll um, they, I've had some burritos from there. They also have a chili, a chilito. It's like a burrito with just the chili and cheese inside of it. Um, I kind of want to try that sometime. Guys, if you have favorite things at Skyline, I got the spaghetti in with the sauce and on it. I've tried that too. But if you have a favorite thing and you just got to see me or dad try it, please let us know in the comments from Skyline Chili. We would like to try it. I'm kind of interested now that I know that I like the hot sauce and mustard added to it. So I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, now we're definitely ready. We're ready to let yeah. these guys go, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, we hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow, and God bless you all. Yes, guys, God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.